Thank you, Trent. For many boys, tying a tie shows they're growing into young men. But not all children have access to a tie or someone to teach them the life skills it symbolizes. Now one woman wants to change that. News 5's Jay Jarvis shows us how she is making our community a better land. Starting today, tie collection bins just like this one will be filling up with straight ties, skinny ties, even bow ties, all to empower the next generation of young men. All right, Lisa. Well, we got Joanne Smith sees things happening in her own life. My son had to teach himself how to tie a tie on YouTube. Reflected in the lives of those she helps through her college preparation consulting firm. He's not the only young man that does not have this skill because we have a whole generation of people that do not wear ties. So she's bridging that gap by starting the 1000 Ties event. It's an afternoon of educational workshops held at local schools where young men learn those skills and form connections with mentors, including fathers, uncles, coaches and businessmen but the gateway are the ties once they actually learn how to tie the tie is a sense of pride a sense of accomplishment they feel better they feel like they look better and they feel like they can go do whatever it is that they want to accomplish so she's asking for the donated ties that will eventually go home with young men like john mccalla jr and his brother darion smith they learned to tie ties at the first 1,000 Ties event in February. I always wanted to learn how to do a tie. And on shows it looked very complicated, but it's not really. It's changed their perspectives and not just about ties. Uh, it felt different and it felt like I was cared for and loved by, more, by people that, I, that don't even know me. The host will be collecting these ties until January 30th, and we have a list of all the drop-off locations on our News 5 app. In Cleveland, Jay Jarvis, News 5. Looking good, young mm -hmm. fellas, looking good. 1,000 ties uh, will happen again in February at schools in both Cleveland and Warrensville Heights. Registration starts in December. We have a link on our News 5 app.